All right, today we are in Onalaska, Washington, uh, behind the middle school here, and we're down in Lewis County, and what we're looking for today is this. This happens to be the second largest um, public telescope, and it's located here in Onalaska. Let's go take a let's go take a look at it. It's pretty cool. Look. So, as you can see, it's pretty large, and there's a building here. It looks like there is a driveway. You can drive down and park over here, but there is a gate, so I'm not sure when it's open and when it's not. Wow, check that out. Look at this cool artwork on the, the wall, on this portable. So this um, telescope is located on a school and it's you're not supposed to go on the property from, I think it was like eight to four. Um, and then if you do go on the property, you need permission from the front desk or something, I believe. But if you're here at, at the other times, like after four, I guess it um, should be okay. But yeah, the dome has a 24 inch telescope located inside. So this is actually the largest uh, public telescope in Western Washington, which is kind of neat. And the other largest one is located in Goldendale, Washington. And that's pretty interesting. So those are public uh, telescopes. Just real quick, I wanted to say, if you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe. Now let's get back to the video. So it looks like the top can slide off to reveal the telescope. Probably can protrude out of there. Unfortunately, it's locked up, but it's pretty big. It looks, I don't know, maybe like 20 feet across from edge to the other edge or something. I'm not really sure. Could be even bigger and maybe, I don't know, maybe about 12 to 14, 15 feet tall. So it's pretty big. And I've seen funny photos where people are sticking out of the, uh, the opening. So kind of the story of the telescope here is a teacher from the high school that teaches science, his name is Johnny Garcia, had a student who was interested in astronomy and he decided to try to get a telescope for the school and for them to do science stuff so and astrology so that's pretty neat. And that's how this got started and how it got built here. A lot of people in the community helped to get it built like a man named Mike Turner donated up to 300 hours and it's sometimes called the Turner Telescope. Another person that helped get it built was, his name was Ed Harold, and he worked for Weyerhaeuser, and he got his employer to donate 30,000 to help build the telescope. So that's pretty impressive. So that's kind of also how it got built here as well. So a lot of people put time and uh, effort and money into getting this built. That's pretty neat. So I was kind of walking around and just talking. And then I, I realized somebody wrote some stuff on there, like Garcia Poo and hello. So I wonder if Mr. Garcia, I couldn't, the article I found was from 2017 about the um, telescope. So I wonder if maybe the, I'm not sure if he still teaches at the high school or not, but maybe the school was shut down out here and maybe people were just writing hello notes to him. Cause that one says uh, <laughs> Garcia Poo. So <laughs> could have been a student or something. I don't know. And this is hello. So that's kind of funny. So it is a public uh, telescope, but currently it's closed. I'm not sure if it's because of what's going on or if it's just, I mean, it's definitely too early in the day, but I'm not sure if they're currently I'm not sure if they're currently having people come out and use the telescope, but I bet you, from what I read, it's pretty neat. Everybody comes out here and spends a bunch of time hanging out and they put lawn chairs out and then it, it just becomes kind of a party, which is pretty cool. I'd like to see that someday, but definitely make sure you come at the right times or when uh, events are going on. That way you don't get stuck out here and there's nothing going on or you're here during like school hours or something. So yeah, definitely follow the rules. And then I'm kind of curious what these other buildings are. We'll go check these out. And also we are by a lake and the smokestack, which I shot a video out before. You can see them over there. So this looks like it's some type of agricultural type thing. 
oh, like uh, aquaponics. I see there's, was it Kyle? Hydrotin. It's that clay stuff. So they must have been doing some hydroponics and stuff or aquaponics. So they were going to use fish to grow food, or I mean plants in hydrotin, which is like clay, which I know for a while you couldn't get it because it was coming from Germany and then they stopped sending it. But yeah, that's. Yeah, let's go see. What else is here? Observational beehive. Whoa. Is it in there? We're inspired to create an observational beehive by this picture, wow. So they're trying to get a beehive to form like that in those tubes they come in probably and go out. Interesting, that's a cool project. They're doing a lot of cool stuff here. So they have, they have the, the this telescope they have this cool bee thing they got going. And then they have the aquaponics, maybe hydroponics. Hydroponics is when you use the chemicals to grow it. And then aquaponics is when you use fish. Something else interesting about the uh, telescope is it was made slightly shorter. So you could be like a school age kid and use the telescope really easily. And it is set up so you can use a wheelie chair, like a, like a computer desk chair and you can use it without using any ladders and stuff. So that's kind of cool. So it's kind of like a mini setup. Just another interesting thing about the telescope here. So yeah, it's like made out of metal and then maybe like fiberglass or something. And yeah, there you can see it like, you can can, like I'm not exactly sure how it moves maybe it goes towards the back and then, yeah there's some mechanisms and stuff check it out look at that cool mural on the side there there's the Sun maybe Halley's Comet Saturn Neptune Jupiter I'm actually oh maybe Europa Europa, not Europa, uh, what's the one, the ice planet? Maybe it is Europa, I don't know. I need to come here and learn some stuff. Ooh, and there's some galaxies down there. So like I said, it's located at a, behind a school, the middle school here. And the way you'll know it's open is on this red building. There's a sign up there that says open. And when they're open, they will turn that on. You can see it from the main road which will let you know when you can come out and view the stars because you got to check the schedule to make sure they're open. So, yeah. So check the sign. And then I guess there's parking that way and around the corner. So, yeah, make sure you look for the open sign. But I'm going to get going here. It's getting kind of cold and kind of dark. Well, not really dark, but it's actually getting kind of pretty. It's like golden hour. So that's gonna do it here at the second largest public telescope here in Washington. Hope you had some fun. If you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe. And once this place is going again, I think it's closed. Well, definitely it's closed because it's daylight. But once it's open and everything's back to normal, this is gonna be awesome. If you like looking at stars and stuff. And I heard it's a party. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time on the Emilio Exploring Channel. Goodbye.